back everybody. I've got uh, two journals to share with you today. Um, this one I've named Claudia. This is a, vi a vintage themed uh, journal. It's fabric covered. This is a, a fabric covered as well, but I've named this one Autumn Notes. So very quickly we'll go through Claudia. Um, this is a two signature and I've just closed it with some sorry silk that's been tied here. And this is not attached, so um, I can just take that off. Uh, did I say it's a two signature? It's a very, very chunky journal. Um, I've put a lot of work into this one. Um, this has been in the works for some time, and I've just finally gotten the chance to finish it. So, as I said, it's very much a vintage themed. Um, this is a little... Uh, French receipt that I've printed out on vellum, so that's really pretty, and um, just a real mix from my stash from various um, digital designers. So um, did a little bit of stenciling there, lots of fabric and collaging throughout. Um, here I've got vintage playing card, a vintage postcard that's dated 1948. Um, and then this little pocket, I've got an old, um, these are like the index card divider. So that's a, a really nice to be used, you know, if you want to put that behind a page, you can use it as a writing surface. Here I've just created a little um, window with a little rose behind and just lots of little um, extras, you know, this was a Franken page, um, another little uh, vintage style uh, postcard, it's not an actual vintage, but I've, the pages have all been uh, gessoed, stamped, stenciled, um, as I said, this is, this is one of the more um, detailed journals, and then this is an old button that I've just put onto an aged um, paper clip. I have not put anything inside this bag pocket because the journal was just getting so big. Um, here, just a little tuck spot. As I said, it's it's probably one of the more elaborately um, embellished journals that I've done. Well, I'm, I'm sure it is actually. Um, here I've got uh, Tim Holtz uh, photo die, and I filled it with various bits and pieces and little t little tiny tags. Um, just a, a real collection of things, and then these are handmade um, tags, you know, that I've done. Some I've done, you know, on um, you know my um, tutorials. Sorry, I'm kind of out of it today, guys. Um, here, just a little collaging with various um, old buttons. Another little snippet here. Um, these papers that are in this, I've got a mix, but this came from my porch print, so I will uh, link. I will put her in the, sh the. I'll put her shop link in the description box. Um, because they are beautiful uh, papers, very, very nice. This is just a little um, envelope here that I've just done a little bit of collaging on that, so that's ready for something to be tucked in. I love how that came out. I hope everybody's having a good week. These are the papers from my porch print, and they are, they are really, really pretty. Um, here, I've just made a little pocket there, and inside there, I've just tucked. Excuse me. Sorry, I've got the sniffles today. Um, just a little tag, and then this was an extra bit of uh, paper that I've just rounded the, the corners, and that's all been tucked in there. Some collaging. This is a um, sewing pattern that I've, I think I've got about four layers of it and I stitched that up and 
Then this is a little Tim Holtz crochet die that I've I've trimmed, you know, added to it. Um, and then I made this little extra notebook here. This was a um, this image is from Tracy Fox's shop. And then so a bit more stenciling on that tag. As I said, all of the pages are. Uh, I think all of them I've, you know, that were the plain, I put um, just so stamping and then a bit of inking. And then they've all been uh, hand torn as well, so it gives it a really nice look. Um, just a negative cut there, and then this, just a little pocket here. And I just made another little, little tag tucked in there, and that's just an envelope. So that tucks back under there, and some more little snippets. And these are glass beads in the center, but this, again, my porch print uh, pages, aren't they beautiful? <clears throat> this is decoupaged pocket, uh, more little snippet clusters there, and then this just another little tag I made, and I've got a little eyelet there. Some more lace. Actually, that's on another page. Sorry, we'll get to it. <laughs> and then some more writing space. There's a, there's a lot of writing space, but as I said, it, it's probably the most embellished um, journal I've done. I do like the stenciling. It adds a lot. And that's an old uh, receipt I got off the internet printed. I just love how this has come out. It's been a while since I've done just a, uh, you know, just a vintage theme. I want to get back to doing more of those. Here's another little button, and um, this one I just tucked another little journal card inside. It's amazing how quickly these fill up, and uh, I, I like to put things in most of the pockets, but then you reach a point where you just have to stop adding. I love that image. And then another tiny little journal card there. And on this one we've got a couple more journal cards. Isn't that beautiful? I love roses. And another little Franken page with leftovers. And then we're on to set the second signature in here. I've made a, a fabric tag and lots of clustering uh, there with vintage laces. And then in here, this is uh, from Artie May's shop. She does these old um, ephemera receipts. So. Another old uh, receipt that's been printed. I love this snippet, and so you've, it's a, it's a, or not a snippet, I call them a fabric tip-in. Everybody's got a different name for them, but I, I call it a fabric tip-in, so you can do some writing here, and then that'll flip down. Here, a fabric belly band with some, ex, you know, leftover fabrics I had, and then this little envelope's got another little old receipt journal card in there. And then another bit of uh, just leftover papers I've got from my stash, so you've got extra writing there. And here is a glassine bag flip over, so you've got um, actually two tags. There's this one, and I've decoupaged that um, with some of the um, Tim Holtz. Uh, tissue paper that um, Nancy sent me in my happy mail. I love that. So thank you, Nancy, again for that. And then this is another little tag I just made. It's got some gesso on it, an old uh, sewing pattern. And then this little snippet I've made for a little piece I got off of a uh, embroidered uh, tablecloth that I've upcycled now. And it's got a new life living in a journal. more stenciling and then here this is just a little uh, 
tuck spot here behind the gift, guest um, check and then got another pocket there. I don't know why that's in there. And then here, another little snippet. Look at those pages, aren't they gorgeous? And then here, we've got another tuck spot here, and then that beautiful flower. I love making those so much. I've got to get some time, and, and uh, I've used up all of them. I want to make some of those again. I'm still going back and forth on this embellishing because I'm trying to use up what I made in advance, but on the other hand, it does take a lot of time for each journal, but um, that just seems to work best for me. So there's you, you've got a pocket there, and then this is an envelope, so you've got that additional space there. You can add more things. And then this is just another little thing I made, um, and I stamped behind it, so when this was out, you'd still have a beautiful image behind. I like how that's come out. <clears throat> Sorry. Try to get that back in. And then this is a um, jumbo playing card that I've done some decoupage on. I love how that's come out. I, I think these um, playing cards, it's a nice contrast to have a, a really vivid um, image. I just That's one of the prettiest ones I've made, I think. And then another little snippet there. I love how that's came out. Um, this is the last, I believe, of those old um, bank envelopes and then I've got that little uh, journal card tucked inside there so you've also got a space back here and then this flips over and you've got a pocket there I did some stenciling there and then that just tucks underneath a bit more collaging there and then this page I've got just this is just a folded up piece of um, extra coffee dyed paper I had and then this other little certificate, old time certificate. And then on this side, same thing, you've got another tuck spot here. Now this was inspired by um, Heidi McGregor. She did this in one of her journals and I love that idea. She said she'd spotted this on Pinterest. So um, thank you Heidi for sharing that. And then behind here, you've got another tuck spot, and I love that. So you can have something tucked in there. You've got all these places here to journal on, and that's just a little cluster. It's not a uh, tuck spot. It's just a bit of uh, collaging there. And in the back, this came in one of the old books I bought, and I've just uh, scanned that. Isn't that beautiful? It's a little um, certificate that I guess you get got when it was in 1935 when you leave school and it's got some really interesting things to read about you know your character and how you should behave in your work life and you what a contrast oh my goodness what a contrast to today um, I think you'll really enjoy that you really uh, I love to I love to read that I've got the original I'm going to keep for myself but Okay, so that is uh, Claudia. Let me set that to the side, and let's very quickly, let me have a look at the time. Okay, we're okay. Okay, so this is uh, Autumn Notes. And this one is, um, I'm really happy with how this came out. Now, this is a design team project for Artie Mays. Um... This is her new autumn kit, um, and it is absolutely gorgeous. So let me tell you a bit about the cover. The base fabric is Tim Holtz. Um, it's one of the patterns did, that didn't have a lot of color in it, um, but I had some of it left, and it was just a bit too blah. <laughs> so I came back over it with this. Um, I've been kind of taking... Uh, scarves and things apart and this just seemed to work beautifully um, so that's what I ended up doing was covering that with some of that and I oh gosh it feels amazing and I just think 
it reminds me of a, a beautiful sweater in autumn. So that's my inspiration behind that. You know, I just thought it really complemented autumn when you're, you know, the nights are getting cold. A lot of layering in the front. We've got burlap, lots of um, this other little fabric I've got that's a bit like cheesecloth, but, you know, bigger. Um, uh, I can't, I'm sorry guys, the words are not coming today. Um, and then I've got some cardboard back, cord, corrugated cardboard die cuts. This is the image from um, Andrea's kit. And then I took some twine, so I'll give you just a close-up there. So you can get a good look at it. I love it. It's It's got so much um, dimension, but it's still quite flat, so you're not going to have... You know, when you're journaling, you're not going to be fumbling around with things. And these are the papers. You'll see those throughout the kit. And then um, inside, I've used from a lot of um, other artists, but I will not point those out because this is a design team for Artie Mays. So here I've made a journal card, and I've stamped back there, and the story begins. Just various... Um, things from here and there that I thought worked nicely and they all speak, you know, autumn to me. Um, I will put a little tag in that. I did not realize that that got away from me, so I'll put one in that pocket. Um, that's a little fabric pocket there, and then this is just um, a bit more collaging here. I've done a lot of, uh, I've done a bit of stenciling because there wasn't a lot of uh, room to add, but where I could, I added some stencil because I really think that <coughs> is in keeping with autumn. The stitching, um, this image from Edith Holden, this little um, magnetized uh, pocket flappy thing. <laughs> You've got a small little pocket there with a tiny tag and then here you've got uh, I did a negative cut um, die cut tag and then this image is also Artie Mays but it's from a different kit so that tucks back there and then there's some magnets to keep that shot I love how that looks and then over here um, this I want to give credit on this to um, I believe it's the outpost. She, I will put, I tell you what, let me just put it in the description box. I've just recently found her channel, and you guys have got to watch her. She is such a pleasure to watch because she's very witty. Um, it's very enjoyable watching her craft. Um, she just tickles me. I'm, I laugh out loud with her and the sounds that come from her house are just it's just nice she's got a bird in the background and every now and then her little dog will make a bark or something it I just really really am enjoying watching her so do check her out I'm gonna put her under inspiration so please check her out she's fairly new to YouTube so um, it would be nice if you guys would uh, would visit and show her some love um, so, as I said, this pocket idea came from her, and it's just, she's just so clever. And then I've just filled it with bits and pieces here, so. Uh, here we've got, um, you know, just a couple other little journal cards. Like I said, these are, you know, a bit of a mix from, uh, from artists, so. But everything is autumn-related. And then here, I love that belly band, um. And then I made, <coughs> this is some uh, baking paper behind the image so that I could make a little cover with it just to give it a little more sound to it. And then just bits and pieces for you to write on. And so that's just an extra little journal that I've included in there. And then this, just another journal card, and then this, got a couple of tags here, and then this will also flip out. 
so you can write a bit and then that'll tuck back under there so you got another journal card there and then I just tuck that tag there so no I'm not sick guys um I don't know why I'm just got I don't know my nose is just kind of ugh. but no I'm not getting sick or anything um I think maybe sometimes as the weather is starting to change, maybe there's a bit of pollen or something floating around. I don't quite know what's up, but I don't feel sick at all, so that's the main thing. More stenciling here, and then this page flips over, and this is a Nikki Adigan. You know I love these, so I've included one of those. That's three separate little files there you can journal on, and then here, get another journal card. Um, I don't know off the top of my head how many um, pages are in this, but it will be in the description if you're interested. And then there's an envelope with a couple more little pockets, some glass beads. I love this. I love how that page is coming out against the, the journal page. So I've tried to leave plenty of room for writing in this, but it's still... Um, there's a lot of little tags and journal cards I've included so you know if you don't want to use all of them in this you could certainly have enough to add to other journals um, that are autumn related and the same thing here this this is another that's a uh, tag from the kit and then this flips out so you can uh, write something and then in here I've got a couple more I love that little um, tag that's not from the same kit though so that's um that's tucked in there Hardy Maze has such big kits you don't need anything else but I just still in this stash busting um, uh, you know and I'm so I'm just gathering up um, and I'm trying to use up everything, you know, and break myself from having things left over from kits. But some of the kits are so big, you know, you, you can't help you. You know, you just end up with a few pieces here and there. This was the pocket I recently did uh, for the Five on the Dime Challenge. So that's been included. And you've got a nice big pocket there. And then this is a fabric um, pocket. Isn't that a beautiful for autumn? And then this is another um, tag from the same kit of Artie Mays. And then here he got a couple other little tags tucked in there. And then this is another pocket here that you can tuck something away. And then on the back I wanted to put a big uh, coin envelope and then I've tucked this. This is from Artie Mays but a different kit. So that's tucked in the back. So it's a pretty chunky journal too, but uh, this is a one signature. So, okay guys, I am going to go, but thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope everybody's having a great week, and I'll see you here again soon. Bye.